One tip to help your business survive this latest COVID-19 wave in Vietnam. Hey Tom, it's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. First I want to say congratulations on your YouTube channel. Everybody needs to follow your YouTube channel. So what everyone needs to do is subscribe to Tom Pink. Great guy, great person. Tom, keep up the great work. You know, I'm lucky to be in Vietnam because actually in Vietnam, uh, the pandemic is well under control. But recently, uh, this last month has not been good. Uh, there's a lot of new cases. This is probably the biggest wave of COVID-19 in Vietnam. And of course, a lot of people are worried. And when you look outside, you know, there's no traffic, there's no people on the road. And uh, a lot of business, including ours, are working from home. A lot of the shops are closed, right? It's a big impact. It's like last year in April, right? The, basically, the entire country shut down, right? And, you know, people lose their jobs, businesses are suffering, you know, businesses don't have customers, and it's worrying because when you run a business and there's no customers and there's no money coming in, you start to worry. You know, you gotta feed your kids, you gotta, you know, take care of your parents, you gotta, you know, pay for your house, your car, your uh, wife, your mistresses, your pussies, I don't know, right? When you have no customers, all of that is, you know, at risk, right? So what can you do during this time to make sure your business is going to be fine, you know, during and after? How can you survive this uh, situation, right? Well, first of all, I mean, like I made a lot of videos about COVID-19 and um, you know, I, I tell you what industries are good, what industries you should get in, what things you should do, right? But today I'm just gonna give you one tip, simple tip that you can take and use immediately, right? So the tip is this, right? You gotta take your business online. I mean, you should know that, right? I mean, you should have done that in the last three waves of COVID-19. You should have done that back in 2020 April. When the first COVID-19 wave hits Vietnam, you should have thought about that, taking your business online. So I don't know what industry you're in, but let's say you're in restaurants. Are you talking to Grab? Are you talking to Footy? Are you talking to people that can deliver your food to consumer, your customers, right? If you haven't done that, then you're an idiot, right? Think about how to integrate online and offline you know you're a restaurant you have a physical location you're making the food but instead of people coming into the restaurant you want your restaurant to be listed in foodie and grab in many places where they can order your food and have somebody delivered to their house that's how you can build a business in fact if you're really good at it you can probably like triple your business 10 times your businesses because you're no longer limited by the number of tables you have at your restaurant, right? Because anybody can order anything from your menu. And when you do the right things, everybody in the city will see your restaurants and they will order from you because everybody need to eat at home now. They cannot go to restaurants, right? If you do the right thing, if you're smart, you could be 10 times your business right now. So when people say, oh, COVID-19 is so bad for business, bullshit. Because, you know, if you do the right things, you actually can 10 times your business. I know that I 10 times my business during this time. 2020 and 2021 saw the biggest growth in my companies, right? Why is that? Because we're doing all the right things and you need to do all the right things. Let's take another example, right? Uh, let, let's try a difficult one, like travel. You're a travel agency. You do uh, group tours in Vietnam. All right, COVID-19 hits, nobody wants to travel. Fuck this shit, right? What do you do? Oh, I, I think you're fucked. I, I, I can't think of anything. What can you do? This is really a hard one, right? right? Because basically COVID-19 will wipe out your business because no one wants to travel at this time, right? And there's definitely no group tours. Uh, like nobody's gonna go out of their city or even anything like that. 
or gather in a big group, right? So maybe, you know, transition your business. Instead of focusing on travel, you know, talk to companies about how to, you know, do team building online. Because that is a problem today and a pain point today for many companies because a lot of uh, employees are working from home. Employees don't see each other. You don't know what they do. Maybe they stay at home and, you know, jack off. And there's so many distractions, you know, like in the home, right? First, your wife wants something and then your mistress wants something. And then, you know, your mistress number two wants to have sex. And, you know, like there's so many like distractions at home and it's really hard to focus, right? As a company that get people together to travel, and when people travel, basically they, they travel as a group and they experience a new experience together, right? So instead of selling that, now you can sell to companies. You provide online team building events, right? So people would, you know, gather in front of their webcams and then they would, you know, maybe play organized games and just keep the team together, right? During this time, people don't see each other, but, you know, maybe as a travel agency that, you know, used to do travel, now you can provide a service to companies to do online team building events. And then they will play together, you know, on the webcam and that will help companies build team spirits. I think that's a great service. If, if there's a service like that, I would use it. So, so that's one option for a travel business, uh, you know, to pivot their business. So they are relevant during COVID-19. If you do something nobody wants during COVID-19, nobody's gonna use your service. You must change your business, you must pivot your business so that you offer something that people need and want, right? And then that will keep your business afloat, it'll keep your business going. Do you have a business that is being affected by this pandemic? Write down in the comments below, right? Tell me what is your business, and then I will give you an answer. I will tell you how you can change your business, pivot your business, how can you make your business relevant during this time. Everything has a solution, right? But generally, you have to look at the integration between online and offline, right? So if you're an offline business, everything happens like inside your store, now you need to think about how to bring that store onto the internet so everybody can see you. Bottom line is that, right? And by the way, I'm the expert at that because I'm in e-commerce. I have a company that does that for a lot of our clients, right? So why don't you comment below? Let me know what is your business, how you're being impacted by COVID-19. And I will read through the comments and I will give you some of my advice. All right, take fucking action. Think about the online and offline integration of your business and provide a service that people want and need during COVID-19 and you will 10 times your business, I guarantee you. Don't be a fucktard.